Hello guys, my name is Fox, and welcome to part 25 of our Prison Architect series. Let's continue. So, in the previous episode we've uh, constructed some more new buildings. Mainly it was just a library. Yeah, we actually did not construct anything else. Workshop has already got uh, embiggened a little bit. So, now the only one thing uh, left probably is just, uh, just a death row. Already probably researched it yeah a long time ago what else do we have in here permanent punishment small cells uh, this execution liability oh let's go and unlock this as well if you want to start working on the uh, execution rooms and also yeah one of the things is automation but I'm not gonna be working on this right now still have capacity for a couple more prisoners and yeah our intake is uh, still switched on. So before we're gonna start working on the death row, let's go and actually, do we have any possible guys for the death row? Looks like no. Okay, well, probably they're not gonna start appearing before we're gonna get ourselves a a room for the <clears throat> for this kind of stuff. But um, should I add one more cell block? Probably yes. We have uh, we have a grant for the cell block C, so. Why not? We could use one more thing, so I'm not gonna be able to clone it. But at least I could plan it, I guess. So, this thing is 10 tiles wide, right? Including the wall. Or. Yeah, it was not a planning tool, it was something different. So, yeah, you're 11 tiles wide. Uh, 11 tiles wide, but including the wall, we would need to have only 10. So, first of all, <clears throat> foundation, probably just bricks, yeah, 10 tiles and somewhere to here. 10 should be working, hopefully. Just try not to destroy any more walls uh, than required. And also, not a room, we need a cell door, a jail door. Hopefully this thing is gonna be the middle or not. I hope it will. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and a wall. Yeah, that should be the middle. So let's go and let them uh, construct this first. We have an intake in the ten hours. It's not really, uh, not really much time. But yeah, let's go and also start working uh, or looking at least at the at the death row or execution thing. Person your prisoners to die requires indoors electric chair and doesn't even have any specific specific requirements. So let's go and uh, just add a little room somewhere in the corner of our base where our people not gonna see uh, anyone because it's it's actually kind of scary. So we're gonna have it like there, I guess, and the room. 8x8, eight eight. I guess it's gonna be enough. Requires an entrance. You're gonna have a just stuff door room, I guess. Or stuff door. Stuff door. What? Not a room. Library. Your library shelf is still not fully installed for some reason. My lazy prisoner is not working really hard. How's actually our income doing? Oh, almost nine days without any incidents. That's kind of surprising. And where the hell is all the workers? Why they're not constructing this shit yet? What are their... What are they busy with? Hmm? I don't know. They not seem to be doing much. Okay, they started the construction. That's fine. It also seems... Oh, someone just got taste. At least not killed. Now we get only 59 prisoners. We, did we release someone? Probably yes. It's not showing in the balance. Probably was not a parole, just someone just got released. Oh, and we actually have 80% already in our education program. So maybe we're gonna get our cash soon for this. We're definitely gonna get a cell block C soon. 
as soon as this one block gonna gonna get finished, we're definitely gonna have uh, at least 100 prisoner capacity. What should we do with the canteen? Should we try to add some more canteen space? Or is this one is fine? I don't know. If if I want so, I could try to move the TVs and add a couple more tables. I don't know if it's required. Each table could support how much people? I guess something like four. Maybe we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yes, there's gonna be plenty. I hope it should be fine, at least for now. So, how's our death room doing? I'm just getting rid of all the trees, okay. How's our forestry scene doing? Oh, where's all the stacks of wood actually got moved to? Probably to the storage, I don't know. And how's our programs on the... On the carpentry guys doing? We almost finished with one dude, but looks like... It actually stopped because... Mm, because of reasons. Probably someone got released or or something like this. Spiritual guidance. 52% per, uh, of people got their spiritual guidance. That's actually awesome. Guide, guard taser is working. This thing is working. What about the workshop safety? Let's go and try to resh uh, reschedule all the programs. Maybe something got, got messed up because... No one seems to be learning on the workshop safety program. Probably after this it's actually gonna gonna be fine. So, our death row room is actually got finished, or not the death row room. It's called execution room. And we have our uh, intake in one hour. Let's go and wait for the intake to happen. Then we're gonna switch it off and continue working on the rest of the stuff. And we also need to add a lot of utility. In all, the uh, in all the places, mainly into this room, so let's go and get a huge pipe, and also a power connection. God damn it game, why are you lagging so much in the utility stuff? Well, this power station is getting kinda close to the finish. Let's go and I guess connect the this one new thing to, uh, to the next one generator. God damn it, what the hell with the legs? I hope it's actually not gonna get... I hope it's not gonna mess with these things. And it probably will. Hmm. I guess I'm just gonna dismantle this stuff. And... Dismantle some of these utilities so they're not gonna get connected to each other and blow up as they did when I try to do it first time. Have tons of capacitors in here, hopefully. Heat is rising for some reason. Probably because it's shower time. Lots of people don't like to be close to each other. So, here is our intake. And that's nice. Let's go and switch it off for now. Still have no one for the death row. So, this room also needs to have a connection. I don't think it would require any water. So let's just go and connect the power. Something like this. Yeah, it's definitely lagging quite a lot in the utility stuff for some reason. So, the stuff is getting dismantled. I hope not having a... not having a metal detector in the Chapel not gonna be a huge problem. We have tons of uh, metal detectors in all the other places, so I hope you're gonna be fine. So how's our new people doing? They're getting searched in the reception, getting their new equipment. That's awesome. Tons of visitors as well. Actually, we probably could even use more tables. One family waiting to visit, 11 visitors on site. No, it's actually fine. One family is not really too much. Reform program session minus 2500. Okay, that's fine with me. What about these programs? Okay, workshop safety instructions or induction is worker working. Carpentry, 
operation ship is starting, but we have zero interest in it for some reason. And it's really unfortunate, but okay. Library is getting some more stuff in here. Some more books, hopefully. It's gonna be enough for all of my people. Execution room. Let's go and actually assign it as the uh, as execution room. And it's gonna require indoors. It is indoors and an electric chair. Just gonna have an electric chair right in the middle. And it costs 5,000 bucks. That's kinda a lot, but okay. I'm willing to pay for this. Also, we need to add a a guard in here. A guard patrol. So it's gonna create one more route. And assign one more dude in here. Should we try to hire some more guards? Probably no. We seems to having seems to be having quite a few of them. What's the problem with lighting in here? Oh, it's just not being connected. Now that should be better. Awesome. Our new block connected to the power. How's the generator looking like? It is still pretty fine. So let's go and start copying uh, the cells. Clone tool. We have 20,000, so we definitely install quite a few rooms. Each one gonna cost like uh, almost a thousand, uh, almost thousand dollars. Let's go and get... No, not this thing. Well, let's go and get one more one side plant. And the second one we're gonna have when we're gonna have enough money for this. What the hell? Why is it... I messed it up again. God damn it. With all these legs and stuff, it's actually kinda hard. Mm, get rid of these things as well. Okay, this one placed right. You should be here. You should be here. Okay, that's better. 12,000 credits. Dollars. Gold. Whatever. Our daily cash flow is rising even more because... Our prisoners definitely uh, becoming safer and safer. We're now already receiving 3,000 bucks for no, uh, for not having any incidents. This is connected to power as well. The only problem right now is that execution table is not here quite yet. Mm, 67 prisoners. Yeah, looks like quite a few still been released all the time. Actually, we had... How much we had previously? I don't remember. But okay. Have I already assigned a guard in here? Yes, I did. So, why is he not here? And why is no one opening the door for these guys? Because it's now been the problem for them, actually. So, you're patrolling here. Our dog patrol would need to be extended to there as well. Is it actually enough to have one dog patrol in there? Maybe you could add a couple of them. Mm. Let's actually go and add a couple more dog patrols in here. Something like this. And this one actually gonna be two separate dog patrols. And for this we, we would probably need to get some more dog handlers. Let's go and hire like two more. Do we need more kennels for them? No, they're not using the, uh, they're not using them all at the same time, so nine is still plenty. We still have some spare all the time, so that's great. So this one guy, this guy's patrolling. Now we have two guys in the yard. Armored guy on the entrance and armored guy in the canteen. Okay, seems seems about right. Hope it should be fine. We actually could maybe use a dog patrol somewhere like in the workshop or somewhere else. I don't know. We'll see. 
And actually, yeah, I always forget about adding water in here. God damn it. Why the pipes placement should be uh, so laggy? I don't know. Let's go and try to unpause. Maybe it's gonna help. Not really. Post on post, it's, it's still pretty awful. Okay, almost at the end. And we missed some in here. I was gonna add a shower pipes right away because I'm gonna forget it as always. Okay, that's better. Mm, some guy gets, in, gets into his cell for some reason. Also, where are we missing some some more of the metal detectors? Oh, this dock is actually working really, really nice. Such a huge flow of the prisoners, it's actually managing to smell them all. That's great. So yeah, metal detectors. We could actually use a metal detector right, uh, right in the kitchen. Because we're actually having a lot of people working, or a lot of prisoners working in the kitchen, so the metal detector on the end is definitely gonna be useful. Now let's go and add a power connection to it right away, because just not to forget. Hmm... I think this power generator could support some more of the metal detectors. I actually don't know how much they they require. Okay, we have our electrical chair installed in the execution execution room. Are we going to have any people for the death row? Looks like no. Reduce execution liability. Still in the progress. It actually requires quite a lot of time. Almost 70 hours. Okay, I have plenty of time. Our dogs is tired, yeah, that's unfortunate, but actually, I could probably have like this uh, as a timed sink. Mm. Okay, no, it's, <laughs> it's too hard to mess with. Because my people only only having the yard time uh, at 7 p.m. So having uh, having dogs here for all the time, it's actually kind of waste of uh, it's kind of waste. Actually, now that I think about this, let's go and get rid of this one dog patrol because having two dogs occupied all the time is definitely a waste. So we're gonna have one in here. Where could we get one more? Probably don't even need any more of them. We have dogs in here. Mm, okay, I'm just gonna get rid of one of them then. Just not to not to waste time. We have plenty of the spare dog handlers if needed. Also, how's our? Oh yeah, in the previous episode I actually been thinking about uh, about the informants. We managed to hire one, but I don't know how to use him. Let's go and try to activate him. It's a sleeping time right now, so if we're gonna use him right now, or try to get information from him, probably... Actually, don't know what he's gonna start doing. Yeah, we're gonna bring him to the, uh, to the guard's room and probably get the information from him. So hopefully it's gonna help. Gonna help to have him search at the night, or not search, but get an information from. Why the hell you're moving so damn slow? To do escort prisoner to security. Okay, we'll see how is it actually gonna help. And I don't see any more possible informants. So we're not gonna. Uh, looks like we're not gonna be. Not getting any more soon. God damn it! When you're gonna bring him, it's actually gonna be morning. Why the hell you're moving such 
so damn slow. Mm -hmm. Could we use some more laundry baskets or should we use some more of them? Actually, I don't know if we have enough. Okay, this guy is almost here. Only like three hours passed. So, what are we gonna start doing with him? Mm. Okay. Are you gonna show me something or what? Probably giving me the information right now. I have no idea, but it's actually already time for me to have a break, guys. So it looks like <clears throat> I'm gonna be trying to uh to have the information about him in the next episode so if you enjoyed watching this you could leave a like if you want to see more you could subscribe and if you want to leave a comment you should definitely do it and i would answer as soon as i could see you later guys bye bye